Hi, my name is Tyson and I am with Synthes. Today we're going to go through the TFNA workflow. So step one, you need your guide wire. The surgeon will use this to create their starting point. After the guide wire, you can hand up the soft tissue protector, which will go over the wire. And after that, you have your opening entry reamer, which is cannulated, so we'll go over the guide wire and make the hole for the proximal portion of the nail. After that point, the assembly will come out, and if you are doing a long TFNA nail, you will move to the reaming portion of the nail. So you'll need to open your Synthes ball tip guide wire, hand that up to the surgeon, he or she will insert that into the femoral canal, at which point you can start to load your reamers. You have two identical reaming shafts and a multitude of reaming heads labeled by their diameter. To load, simply press in and twist. You'll hear a click. The reamer is now loaded, attach it to your power assembly, hand it up, and ream up sequentially. To take off the reaming head, grab your silver tray, lock it in the box, and just pull, and it'll pull off the head. At that point, you are ready to measure your nail. So take your two measuring devices, slide them into each other, hand it up to the surgeon. At this point, he or she will put it over the ball tip guide wire where the wire ends, that is the length of your nail. So you now have the diameter and the length of your nail, so you can go grab it off the shelf. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, we will move to a shorter nail, as if we're doing a short nail. So when you do a short nail, you do not need to ream. So after the entry reaming, we would move right to assembling the nail. So to assemble the nail, you open your nail and you grab your uh, handle. The nail is self-retaining on the handle. It can only fit in one direction, so press it on like so. And then you need to grab your connecting screw and your connecting screwdriver. So that sits on the top like that. Again, it is self-retaining. Insert that in top of the nail and twist until it is tight. Once it is tight, you need to insert the aiming arm and screw that down as such. At this stage, it is important to make sure that the aiming arm is the same degrees as the nail you have selected. So where it says 130, make sure that 130 nail has been selected. You then need to insert your impactor. So to insert your impactor, you take the clip, throw it in the side like so, and then screw on your impactor tip. At this point, you can hand this assembly up to the surgeon. The next thing is to attach the locking knob. So in the large hole here of your aiming arm, you're going to assemble this black knob in like so. And then you're going to use your triple sleeve to aim up the leg screw. So you'll notice here there's a yellow line and on your triple sleeve there are three yellow lines. So you assemble one sleeve, two sleeve, three sleeve, at which point this will be fed into the aiming arm and you are now aimed into your nail. Next step is to pull out the trocar and insert your guide wire. This is the same guide wire as the initial step. It's going to go through and enter into the femoral head. Next, to measure the guide wire, you're going to take your percutaneous measuring device and you're gonna slide it over the guide wire. You'll read off the end of the guide wire to get the length of your leg screw. At that point, the assembly will come out and you need to now drill for your lag screw. The step drill is two pieces. It is the drill itself and it is this clip, the silver button. It, the clip goes on the end and you press the silver button to move it down to the corresponding height that you measured. At that point, it attaches to your power 
and then feeds through the trocar into the femoral head and drills. There's a positive stop, so you cannot over drill. Once we've drilled, our next step is to insert our leg screw. The leg screw uh, insertion is two pieces. It's a blue T handle with the inner lumen. Insert the lumen inside and push the leg screw, the implant, on the end and screw it in. You can then hand up the leg screw and it will be inserted through the trocar. Inserted as such. If uh, the surgeon is requiring a compression through the leg screw. There is a compression nut that can be attached to the leg screw insertion device. You simply take it, slide it on the skinnier portion of the shaft, and begin to thread it on. Once it's threaded on, it can thread all the way up until it makes contact with the jig, and at that point, it's going to create, crimp, uh, create compression. Once the surgeon is happy with the placement, you will then lock the uh, leg screw into the uh, nail. To do this, uh, you need to assemble the torque limiting screwdriver, which is the black shaft with the blue handle. Once assembled, this can be fed into the top of the nail and turned until you hear an audible click. Once it's clicked, you have locked in the leg screw and you're ready for distal locking. So the insertion would be pulled apart, the trocar would be removed, and you are ready for distal locking. For distal locking, you will assemble the three 4.2 drill sleeves, so big, medium, small. You will slide that into the aiming arm on the hole that says static. You will then remove the trocar and insert the drill bit. When drilling through the jig, you will use the long 4.2 drill bit. That will come through. Uh, once you've drilled both cortices, drill bit comes out, drill sleeve comes out, and you use the depth gauge with just the inner portion to measure for your screw. It simply hooks on the other side of the cortex and you read off the sleeve. To insert the screw, you use your blue T25 handle to insert through the sleeve assembly. After that, the last step is to disassemble the connecting screw. So you go back to your blue T handle connecting or coupling screwdriver and you simply just detach the nail from the jig. And that, folks, is the TFNA.